I want to thank everyone for coming down to our EOC, a place that has seen a lot of activity since the hurricane season began, and I think we're going to continue to see a lot of activity here for the remainder of the hurricane season. Uh, along those lines, uh, we do want to alert everyone that a flash flood warning was just issued for central Oahu on the North Shore side um, until 530. It's an example of our continuing wet weather events uh, that, are, that are occurring, and we want to make sure everyone's prepared. We appreciate the members of the media getting that information out to people. We're really asking people to be careful, particularly on the North Shore. Do not drive through uh, water overflowing roads. Um, be very, very careful. Heed the warnings. Listen to the TV stations. Read the newspaper. Listen to the radio and be prepared. We, I believe, have very good news. I'm going to ask uh, uh, Deputy Director of Environmental, Environmental Health, Keith Kura, Kuraoka, to come and share the good news. Thanks, okay. Keith. Based on the testing that we've done in the last couple of days, the water quality testing conducted indicate the near shore waters along Waikiki Beach from Kahanamoku Beach to Kapu Kapuhula Avenue, as well as waters within the Ala Moana Beach Park do not indicate nor was never impacted by the sewage outflow that occurred at the Alawai and Kewala Basin um, boat harbors. Water quality results indicate that warning signs can be removed along Waikiki Beach and waters along Ala Moana Beach Park. Department of Health is authorizing the city to remove the warning signs along Waikiki Beach and within Ala Moana Beach Park. Further, the water quality results indicate that waters within the Alawai Small Boat Harbor and the Koala Basin Small Boat Harbor are still impaired and warning signs within each harbor along the harbor entrances will still remain. Uh, we will still do additional testing and monitoring in those areas. The public is advised to avoid contact with waters within the warning signs area that were posted and that the DOH provide notification that the water quality in boat harbors have returned to normal. Surfers and boat users are advised to, that offshore waters may still be impacted and particularly near the harbor entrances. And please, as far as the overall public is concerned, that there is a statewide brown water advisory in effect. So not all waters may be impacted. However, if the water is brown, stay out of the water. Continue to practice good personal hygiene and follow up on, with your primary care physician if you have any health concerns. And just to give you an indication of where the sampling points are, we will post this in our website so you can get better information. We also have the tabular data, the data sampling results, but I just want to show you um, pictorially where the uh, sampling points were located. And I know it's hard to see, but the red areas are still areas that we further, the signs will remain up and further testing will still continue. The green areas, particularly on Ala Moana Beach Park and Waikiki Beach, we find that the signs can't come down and the, the park can re be open right now. Ala Moana Beach can be open. Yes as well as Waikiki Beach. Could you maybe explain to members of the media where you tested along here? Yeah, we sampled, we sampled over 20 locations from uh, Kakaoka Beach uh, Park all the way to uh, Kapu land of Waikiki Beach. So there's about, I think about 23 sites that we sampled, both for bacterial samples as well as physical parameters. And based on those results, the, uh, the indication is that the, the levels have come down dramatically from yesterday to indicate that uh, we can open at least those beach areas part. But as far as the, see the red areas with the Alawai Boat Harbor as well as Kiwala Basin, um, those are the natural outflows of the, the uh, flows in normal times, but during a rainstorm event, those were the highest areas and we still see high levels of bacteria in those areas as well. Okay, okay. thanks Keith. No. It's a good example of how the state and the city are working together. And I want to thank you because you're allowing us to get our number one industry up and running again. Yeah, we're all this I want to thank you so much.